What's going on YouTube today? I wanted to show you guys my uh, Ozark Trail Quick Connect tent. Um, I'll walk you guys around that real quick. Just wanted to show you guys like a quick walk around of everything. I had most of this stuff from when I would go to the beach, the two canopies. So I don't really count that into the, the cost of the tent. The smaller Connect tent was $39 or $49.99. I'll leave that somewhere up here. And this one was $79.99. And I'll leave that again somewhere up here. And links will be in the description below. But if you take out the canopies, especially if you already have a t any 10 by 10 canopy, it just clicks right in. It's a nice tent. Let's give you guys a full walk around of everything. I have some of the stakes out, and I do apologize for that. I'm getting ready to wrap it up. My son came out here earlier and started packing it away. That's why that's all the way in. But this does come out to about right here. And this one, I was impressed with this one for how much room you actually get out of it. And that's one of the things I like about these connect tents. You are able to pretty much pick and choose how you want to configure it. Like I have this one wall, for example, which I really like. Or maybe the next time I'll have it almost like a tunnel where I'll have a wall here and you would come in where the wall is there. Or maybe get another connect tent and drop the wall. But it's nice and you get a lot of room and one of my biggest complaints about the small tent was the gap that it leaves. I wish it would come flush like the, the walls do. And I might be coming up with something to remedy that because it's both there and there. I have seen people use the, the 10 by 10 and the four person tent and a 10 by 20. So you do lose this gap right here, which was when it was rain. And the only time I would get really wet was when I would walk into it. But overall for the price of I think with just the tents, it's 120 bucks. It's not bad. And you get to customize how you set up, and it could be different each time. And I just figured I'd show you guys that me and my son camped on our front lawn for the first time in this tent over the weekend. It did make it through rain, and we got very little water in. And I do want to show you where water came in on the tent. So we have both. We have the 10 by 10 and the tent that actually hangs off the side. But because of the way the tent up here has the vents for the air to come in and out of water was pushed in and i would say maybe it was pretty raining pretty heavy and it was able to you know we stayed pretty dry in here you get a nice 10 by 10 area the whole length of the tent you get four windows that zip up and down and the zippers seem to be okay quality i wouldn't say they're great but they'll last for a while you do get this nice little pocket down here to keep iPad, phone, keys, whatever. I think there's only one of those. But overall, it's, it seems like a good tent. It only takes a little bit to set up. I'm probably in the 20 minute mark. We do have the side one as well. And I'll walk you guys through that one real quick. This one's already been starting to be taken down, but I'll show you the inside. You get a nice pocket to keep your iPad. You get two of them actually in this one. iPad, keys, whatever. You do get one window, and then the top itself is all mesh with a, a tarp overneath of it. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.